Okay, hello guys. Hope everyone's doing good. We've got the weekend coming up. Hope you have a good weekend. Got another OpenBSD video. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video or two, I finally figured out how to get screencasting using, well, I originally was using VLC, and I noticed that my mouse cursor wasn't showing up on the screencast that I was doing with VLC. I don't know if there's a way around that or not, but now I'm using FFmpeg, and you can see the mouse cursor now. Figured out how to get audio recorded while doing a screencast. Still haven't figured out the best way to sync that together. I'm still working on that. And if you also watched any of the previous videos, you you heard me say that I'm still having to uh, <laughs> edit the videos on Linux. I have searched through the repos, and the only video editor I can find, let me pull it up. Well, I'm not going to pull it up because it's really slow. Is this Lives right here, or Lives? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And I've tried working with it, and I would prefer not to work with it if I don't have to. <laughs> so what I did, even though, even though OpenBSD recommends that you stay with uh, their binary packages in their repo, OpenBSD does have a port system. So I downloaded ports, <clears throat> installed the ports, and we're going to look and see if we can find a video editor in ports. Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm not going to go through everything I did. I'll leave a link to the page, uh, the OpenBSD page that kind of explains how to install ports and use ports. So first thing I'm going to do is become root. And we will cd into user ports. And let's just list everything that's there. And as you see here, we have all these different areas where we can possibly find items. Uh, now the way you search for a port is you enter this command, make search key equals, and let's search for, uh, what's a video editor? OpenShot. And there is no OpenShot in ports. Let's try something different. Shotcut. I like Shotcut. And it's not there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> olive. Let's try Olive. Now let's try KDN Live. Aha! So we do have KDN Live. Hooray! Uh, and here it is right here in this X11. See the X11 right up here? That's the port that it's in. <clears throat> KDE Applications Kden Live. So let me CD into that. CD user ports slash X11 KDE applications KDN Live. All right. Now, supposedly all we have to do now to install this is run make install. So here we go. No! It's broken! <laughs> broken oh dear crashes <laughs> crashes immediately when you add a clip to the timeline oh man oh I was kind of excited thinking I was gonna be able to 
edit my videos <laughs> on OpenBSD. Okay. Well, at least they tell you uh, it's broken and tell you what will happen. Uh, maybe that'll get fixed soon. So for now, it looks like I'll still be editing my... <laughs> Looks like I'll still be editing my OpenBSD videos on Linux because this lives or lives it it's really let me just say things take a long time and that I'll leave it at that so there you go <laughs> I've been stabbed in the heart but that's okay. All right, you guys have a great weekend and take care. Thanks.